How's it going, everybody? It's David here with solarpowermyrv.com. And today I just wanted to show you guys how to use the auto generator start feature on the new user interface for the Serbo slash Touch 50 uh, touchscreen monitor. So the first thing you want to do is go to the main uh, menu, which is this here. This is your main screen and click on the top left corner and then this will pull up the auto generator feature. And this is how you can tell if the auto generator feature is on or off and you can turn it on and off here based on the conditions that you set. You can also manually start it here by hitting manual start. And you can also set a timed run here if you want it to run like 15 or 20 minutes, you could set it there as well. So we're gonna hit manual start and it's gonna go ahead and manually start it and I'll show you what that looks like. Now, another thing you do want to do while you're or before you start your generator is you want to set the grid current limit. So if you look here, you can see uh, on this side, it says grid current limit. We have it set at 8.9, but uh, you want to set that to whatever your generator can put out. So if you can put out, you know, 30 amps, set it to 30. So this is what it's going to look like when it starts charging your batteries from the generator. It'll say bulk charging because so your, your inverter is charging at this moment. And you can see it's putting in, you know, positive power here. So once we got it running, you can also stop it here. So we'll just hit manual stop. So run for a minute. And that's how you stop it. And it goes automatically back to inverting mode. And you can see here we're back to running on battery and solar power. So to set the conditions for the auto generator start, uh, tap the bottom right corner on settings and it'll pull up all the this screen here and you're going to scroll down to generator start stop this is how you can also turn the auto generator function on and off and manually start it as well here and you can see right now it's stopped and there's no errors um, so what you can want to do is to set anything you can go to settings here and this is how you set the conditions for the auto generator to start so you can set a minimum runtime here so when it does start running, you can set it to where it runs at least so many minutes. You can also um, have an alarm when the generator is not in auto start mode. So it'll tell you on the front screen, like it's not, your auto starts not on. So if you do expect it to turn on, it's not gonna be on. You can also set the quiet hours here. So if the auto generator start is on and you have quiet hours, it's not gonna run during those quiet hours. So you can set that there. So if you click the conditions button here at the top, this is all the different conditions that you can get it to start the generator and stop the generator. So you can get it to where it's a state of charge, the battery current, the voltage, your AC loads, the inverter temperature. You can also set periodic runs where it just automatically run, like if you just wanted to exercise it. But like here, you can do the battery state of charge. You can use battery state of charge to start and stop it. And you can set it here to start when the battery state of charge is lower than, let's say, 20%. And you can start value during quiet hours. You can make that different. And then you start after the condition is reached for so many seconds. And you can get it to stop when the battery voltage is higher or your battery percentage is higher than, let's say, 80%. So let's say it'll turn on at 20 and turn off at 80. And you can use you can turn it off on and off there. And these are all the different conditions you can set it to. Another one is AC loads, like anything that you're using in the RV. So let's say like you're using more than 2000 watts at one time. You can, like let's say you're trying to use two air conditioners. You can get it to automatically start since the two air conditioners are gonna pull, you know, let's say 3000 watts. You can set the wattage, you know, here. So another common condition you can use it for is to periodically run. So if you want it to, let's say, run every day for 20 minutes, or if you want it to run every other day for an hour, or every 30 days for two hours, you can set that here. You can set the start time. You can set the duration. You can set it until, to run until the battery is fully charged. Um, kind of whatever you personally want to set it to, you can set it here. So here's another cool condition you can set it for is for inverter overload. So typically the 3000 watt inverter, you can run 2400 to 3000 watts continuously, but like two air conditioners, for instance, would typically overload it. So you can set it here to start the generator if uh, you know two ACs kick on and it starts to overload the inverter. So the last thing I'll show you is if you go back to the generator start stop page and click runtime and service, 
this is just going to show you some of uh, your generator run times and um, your generator service hours and so you can keep track of your all changes in your services here as well so if you're looking for a high power solar system for your rv make sure to check us out at solarpowermyrv.com we're located in denver colorado we have five star reviews and we have tons of experience working on just about every rv out there